Okay, what's up you beautiful bastards? I'm doing my first ever sponsored video today. Uh, Artisal uh, sent me their A601 drawing tablet, which I think is one of their smallest. It's 8x6. Uh, I figured out through experience that I prefer the smaller drawing tablets because I travel so much uh, and I just like them to fit in my backpack. Uh, this one's definitely very thin and small, uh, so it's just pretty much exactly what I like for traveling. So my first impression was of the packaging. I really love how small it is, it's not over packaged, but when I opened it, it was very neat and tidy. Uh, I'm not sure what all the little pieces are, but I didn't have to worry about them when I set up the tablet, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Overall, I thought the packaging was really nice. It's pretty easy to install the tablet, although I confused the shit out of myself trying to read the instructions, which I'm pretty sure is a me thing, because they're literally just diagrams, like showing you where to put the, uh, the cable in. So, take that with a grain of salt. Um, most important aspects of a tablet for me is one, whether its tracking is good um, and if the pen is battery free or not. Thankfully, the tracking is really good and the Artisal pen is battery free and also like the best pen ever to me because I love uh, the bigger grip uh, and it's... <laughs> and it's... <laughs> And it's got this like. Can you try to navigate this paragraph like a fucking minefield. <laughs> and it's soft uh, around the grip too. It's got like this different material on it. Um, I usually draw with my hand near the tip of the pen, and I like squeeze it really tight. <laughs> um, and I usually give myself writer's bump, but with this. I don't get that because the part I use to draw is like super thick, which is not like your typical tablet pen. And that's like a huge plus for me. Two things I noticed <laughs> when I was zooming in and out of my canvas uh, with my trackpad, it would lag really bad. Um, it would just like continually zoom all the way out or all the way in and I couldn't stop it. Not sure if that was because of the tablet itself, but I did notice that it started the minute I started drawing with this tablet. Uh, so not sure if that's attached, but that's just what I noticed. Another little thing I noticed was that when I'm reaching over to type on my keyboard, uh, I almost always end up hitting the buttons on the tablet, which usually mess up what I'm typing. I think this could be avoided by not making the buttons raised, uh, instead making them like concave a little bit so you have to like physically press them for them to, you know, work. Uh, one example would be like the Wacom tablets, uh, but that's... That's all I noticed that was negative about the tablet. And it's pretty much not a negative at all, so. Uh, I did the speed paint and these sprites using the pen, and I've honestly really enjoyed it. It's not that easy to find a solid tablet that's like affordable. And right now this is on Amazon for $40. Uh, I ended up paying like $200 for this huge tablet once and it was unsynced to my cursor and cracked and it was so uncomfortable to work with so a higher price doesn't necessarily mean better uh, so yeah good tablet super easy to use and i think it's really great for beginners and scene <laughs>